What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, man. Welcome back to a new video. And uh, on this video, I wanted to, uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit. So just to let you know, you know, today is Thanksgiving day. This is in the morning. So I want to tell everybody happy Thanksgiving, man. Hoping y'all enjoying it. Y'all enjoyed your family. Well, by the time this video posts, it's going to be the week after uh, Thanksgiving. So I want to tell y'all happy Thanksgiving. So now let me give you a little bit of an update in the background on what's going on before I get into the meat and potatoes of the video. So just to let y'all know, man, God dang it. I just like to be transparent with y'all, man. Let y'all know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, your boy, life is happening to your boy like a mug, but I'm trying to work through it, trying to get it cracking, trying to get it popping. Um, I don't know. I'm moving the camera all over the place. If I sound a little nasally, it's because I've been sick. So I'm, you know, I'm getting better now. But uh, I wanted to put this out there, this information out there because of some of the comments and things that you guys have been asking me, you know me, I'll be trying to help out as much as I can. So this is all going into um, the Tesla style radio that I installed in the car. Now, some people, some of the, you know, some people, subscribers have been reaching out to me and they've been telling me that they've been having issues with the sound coming out of there. And the only reason why they're having issues with the sound, because there is an issue with the telematics unit. So, like I told y'all, I'm not sponsored by these guys or anything, but the fact that y'all are taking the time out to ask me questions and I really do want to try and help out as much as I can, I decided to dig in a little bit deeper and try and engage with it some more. So uh, based off of what y'all been telling me and I've been trying to you know, suggest certain things to try and help out, I was able to uh, reach out to my contact, Eric, uh, <clears throat> at our car, you know, just to try to run him through the, uh, the issues that the, these subscribers were having and what I wound up doing, I asked him some questions and, you know, he kind of, he got back to me, you know, the way that I contact him, which, you know, I wrote some notes and stuff, but at the same time, you know, on my phone, I, uh, I, uh, the only way I can contact him because it's an international thing is WhatsApp. So on WhatsApp, you know, I sent him some messages and, you know, he, he sent me some information back, you know, I cleared it up with him to make sure it's cool to share with everybody what's going on because, you know, companies, they're working on stuff, they're trying to fix stuff. You know, they only disclose so much, but he's been very transparent and kind of let me know what's going on and what they're doing in the background to try and work through this situation. So the issue is some people are having problems with the telematics unit and sound. Everything else with the radios, from my understanding, is working. It's just they're having issues with sound. And uh, after touching base with him, I guess he, uh, you know, one of the subscribers, they reached out to him to try and get some help from him. So they've been kind of like working on it. So they showed me a, a, an adapter that they're planning on, that they're testing right now to try and uh, work through this issue that they're having with the telematics unit. It's an adapter to go between the OEM harness and the actual uh, the head unit. So it's, it's something that they're working on to try and get through. Uh, hold on, let me, I'm trying to look through my notes and everything. Um, they're they, they working through uh, the, this adapter. It's... They're getting, they're getting, they're getting somewhere with it, but they still need a little bit more testing and a little bit more work. So they are working on it. Um, what he did reassure me is, is that uh, whenever they do come out with the, uh, the resolution to this, any future head units that sent out will be coming with that harness. But until then, if they still, if they keep hitting, if they keep running into a wall, then they probably going to, you know, stop the production and sale of it until they work through these issues. You know, it's R&D. It's a new radio. It's, it's the new style that they came out with, with new updates and everything. So they're trying to work through it. Now, he did offer me something to send out to you guys. So now their home office is based in, it's, it's in Houston, Texas. They, well, not home office, but they have an office in Houston, Texas in the States. And from what he told me is that they're going to be coming back to the States uh, sometime in the beginning of the next year. So that's the, that's the, the soonest that they can, you know, come back over to this, you know, across the pond and get over here to us. Um, they're going to be coming down here. Now, what he did tell me is that they are, he asked me if I knew anybody in the area that has a, I'm going to assume it's a VA style, a WRX or um, STI that has the telematics unit, a Harman Kardon system in their car with the telematics unit in it. 
to uh, be able to, they, what they want to do is send them a unit. They'll send you a unit and their expectation is that you'll be able to come in to their office where they can try and work through the bugs and try and debug any issues or any communication problem just to work through the issues. There's a little bit of R&D to try and fix this, the situation. So the person who does do that, you know, I, I'll link you guys together. I'll introduce you to them. And then at that point, they'll give you the details because I don't know all of the details we didn't want to do. But that's going to be between whoever, you know, they choose to work with on that. And they'll, you know, you'll get a, a free head unit out of it, which is I think that's a plus. But then you get to be part of the R&D process of getting, a, 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 you know, another product out. So which I think is pretty cool. Wish I had one, but I don't. I don't have a, a Harman Kardon unit. But like I said, I had no issues with my car. But this is something that's been going on. And to let you guys know, just to put that information out to you guys, that they are working diligently to try and get through it. And he's sharing information with me and letting me know that I could tell you guys what it, what's going on with it. All right, y'all, so I just want to give you guys a look at what they're working on. So they pretty much, this is the cable that they have for the um, for the sound and everything. And they kind of have everything labeled on there as to what they're going to be using. And the thing is, is they, what he's saying is that they plan to use that adapter cable to replace the OEM telematics module. So this is, a, uh, this is what they've been working on in the background. Um, and I know one of the subscribers, he was saying that they were going to send them, the, send them a, uh, an adapter and a cable. And I believe this is the harness adapter that they were they're sending to them. So they're trying to work through that with that individual. Another thing I want to tell y'all, man, is the fact that y'all are really reaching out and you're asking questions. And, you know, I'm going to try and help out as much as I can. You know, the, these individuals, they reach out, talk to me ask me questions, I try and help out, and that's kind of what got me to engage with the situation, trying, you know, just to dig in there a little bit deeper. So I gotta tell y'all, man, I really appreciate that y'all communicate with me, you interact with the channel, man. The community is, is, is strong, it's a lot of positivity, I like it. Everybody's trying to help each other out. That's kind of what I would like, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, I'm still trying to learn too myself, but I appreciate the engagement and all of that. And the only thing I can think of to do is, Y'all having issues to try and help out as much as I can. So I get questions about all types of stuff and I try and look it up if I can. If I can find it, I'll post it, give you links or whatever, try and help you guys out. But uh, I got to tell y'all, I really do appreciate y'all's engagement and talking to your boy because it's, it's rough out here, man. So uh, I look at my analytics, dude, and I see from week to week, I have anywhere from 800 plus to 900, sometimes over 1,000 people engage with the channel now the, the crazy thing for me is that it's not showing in the subscriber count but it's cool man I, I, like i said as long as i'm helping people out i'm good with that but get your boy a shot man go and subscribe to your boy let me entertain you or hopefully teach you something you know that's pretty much what i do this for man y'all are kind of like my break from all the craziness that's going on you know with the nine to five the day to day this is a release for me so i really like doing it but I like to see some growth so we can do a little bit more with the channel because it's getting real rough out there, man. I know a lot of y'all are experiencing the same stuff, whether it be, you know, gas and groceries and everything is just going up. It's freaking crazy out here, y'all. This is me just talking to y'all a little bit, man, you know. Uh, but for the most part, I really appreciate y'all engaging with me, man, talking to your boy. So now, in the mean between, hold on, let me make sure my radio is my if it'll make no bunch of noise uh i'm wrestling with my own stuff going on right now with the truck so just to let y'all know what's going on with that you know i i'm thinking about recording it but i don't know i mean maybe i will but i'm um i'm messing with the truck right now i had to change the fuel pump on it so i fixed the issue that i was having with the fuel pump but then another issue popped up and i think it's uh not to say it's a mistake. It is a mistake on my part, but not really because you you would think you buy a new part, you should be able to use all of the components that come with it and they should work together. Well, I'm thinking I'm having an issue with the O-ring that seals the the um, fuel pump to the fuel tank that creates that seal. Because now I'm getting a, um, an EVAP vent error code on the truck now, so which is making me have to pull the fuel pump out again, which like I told you, I had to work on the truck. I have to take the bed off the truck. 
So I had to figure out how me being by myself, how to do it. I figured out a way to do it. So now I got to redo the whole process. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the old O-ring off the old fuel pump, which I got it right here. This guy right here. And I'm going to put that on there because I think it's going to have, a, it has a tighter fit than the one that came with the brand new one. So I'm going to use, reuse that and see how that kind of clears my issues. If not, then I'm going to have to do a little deeper dive in that. So maybe I'll take y'all along with me on that, do a little video on that. We'll see what's up. So now again, with anybody in the Houston area, you know what I'm saying? If you're in Houston and like I said, you have a VA chassis and you're interested in receiving a unit and being part of the, um, the R and D process or the, the trying to figure out the fix to get the, to get the telematics units to work. And it, like I said, you get a free head unit out of it. So that's, to me, that's a plus. So if you are, Man, hit me in, uh, in in the comments, man. DM me on Instagram or whatever, man, and just let me know who you are. I, I get in contact with you and everything, and then what that is, I, uh, depending on what it is, I'll probably get with Eric again to see if there's any other um, qualifications that they want for the individual to come into it. That way then I can pass that information on to y'all, and we can kind of narrow it down to who, who gets picked for it. And then, um, you know, I uh, introduce y'all and then they go from there. At that point, I mean, I'm I'm pretty much out of it because, you know, I don't have, if I had the radio for it, I'd be doing it. But you know, it's an opportunity for one of you guys to probably, you know, land you a unit and then help everybody else out in the process. We help the community out. So again, you know, hit me up. Let me know if you're in the Houston area, man. Especially you Space, Space City Subi guys, hit me up, let me know. But, uh. That's pretty much all I got on this one, man. Not too much. I don't want to take up too much of y'all time again. I want to tell y'all happy Thanksgiving. And hopefully you guys are having a good time with your families, man. You're eating, getting it in. I kind of got to wrap this video up myself because I got to start getting involved with what I got going on with my family so I can we can get some food going, get everything to popping so we can get to eating so I can be burping and stuff later on too. So again, man, appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all for your engagement. Thank y'all for giving your boy a shot and support me and the channel and help us support each other, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank y'all. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, man. Hit that bell notification, hit all, so you get notified whenever I put out another video. And until that next video, peace.